Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and today I got another build for Windows 10 Mobile. It's actually been quite a few weeks since I did a review on a Windows build because Microsoft took some steps down in releasing uh, every week builds because they tried to fix some bugs and they tried to bring some features to Microsoft Edge, which they, they brought some features to Microsoft Edge but you can't really like see them only like in editing uh, websites and stuff like that and uh, the build number 4977 and let me say straight from the beginning that I do not recommend this build for you to install it if you install it then keep it <laughs> you can't really go back but I don't uh, really recommend this build because it feels like Microsoft kinda they try to fix some bugs then they, they bring other bugs it's like you fix one bug and you create five more bugs I know this is how programming works, because programming is hard. And the thing is, these settings for the automatic, for the brightness, they messed it up already so many times and they fixed it and it's again fucked up because there's no other word for that. And actually this is from like two builds behind. This problem is there, I mean, you, you see, on automatic the brightness goes down, but if I press low, goes up, right? Medium still the same brightness and high still the same brightness i mean they fixed this like like three four times already and they messed it up <laughs> three four times and now it's messed up again i don't know why why even go and change there i don't i don't really know what they're doing but they definitely do, do something then what i'm mostly so mad about this build I'm pretty sure that with a hard reset this probably will get fixed but I mean I'm so mad because uh, most of the people will not want to rest hard reset all the time the, the phone and I'm telling you this to not install this build because to fix these problems you, might, you probably might need to hard reset the phone and the problem is how am I supposed to message now? Messaging just doesn't work it opens and then insta crashes let's see if it will crash Insta crashes. I can't open nothing because it will crash. Then I changed my messaging for Skype preview because there, this option was before there and now it's not anymore there. I mean what the fuck Microsoft are you doing? I mean what the fuck? You bring some features to us then you take it out. Look here, there is in the settings there is not the option to enable the messaging. Where is the option? There is no option. And this option was before this build, was, was here, now it's not here. The, the other interesting thing is if you go into settings, and the settings are also kinda messed up, let's see if it will not crash, if you go in messaging, sometimes, look, it takes so much time to open, maybe it will crash, maybe it will open, it's like 50-50, and it crashed, let's try again. So it's 50-50, that's why I don't recommend this build, because it's way too buggy compared to the previous one, the previous one was more or less okay, this one is way too buggy, just wait for next one or <laughs> I don't know, this, this is way too messed up. Maybe with a, with a hard reset this will gonna get fixed, but I mean previously it was working more than fine and now they, they just messed up. How can I message now? How can I use message if the messaging doesn't work and if they took out the set the option from Skype? Look here. Here there is the option Microsoft messaging or Skype preview and even if I choose Skype preview it still doesn't receive messages on Skype because they took out the option from, from there. So now I can't really use messaging because first the messaging doesn't work, I mean works but then crashes and then second Skype works but they took out the features. So I don't really know what Microsoft is doing because first they try to implement this uh, messaging everywhere in the messaging app then they said okay let's put this aside and let's bring this mes messaging everywhere into Skype. Now they bring that, mess that, that feature to Skype and now they took it out. I mean come on Microsoft decide what you want to do, I'm getting frustrated already because I'm a fan of Windows and I like Windows, I know this is insider and it's bad and stuff like that, but decide what you want to do, you bring features or you don't bring features. I just can't use this phone as a daily driver anymore. Then the second thing is Outlook. Outlook got totally f***ed up, totally f***ed up, I'm sorry for these uh, words but look here, all my all my accounts, they are not synchronized, let's try to focus, they are not synchronized, if I go into main my main account, I already put the password, put everything, you see here it tries to synchronize, it says syncing, it says here at the bottom, nope. uh, doesn't say anymore, but here at the top it still says 
trying to like to connect here the bottom was saying syncing i did this i, I placed the password i put the my security code it says all the time synchronizing synchronizing and nothing this synchronizing will get you into battery drain and the phone of course will drain the battery then another problem is the battery because of these problems with, with the outlook that can't synchronize well Maybe the messaging, it also tries to synchronize something, it's not working. And I noticed that when I watched videos on YouTube or or Twitch, the phone, this phone started to get a bit hot, not like extreme, but a bit, which this phone never was getting hot while watching videos, which now it's getting hot a little, but not, not a big deal. Then TubeCast, it's still not working. Maybe this problem it's from TubeCast because one day it was working. I mentioned it in previous build. One day it was working and then the next day it was just black like this. But I noticed this also on my tube. My tube now works, but if I use it quite a few times, it starts to be like TubeCast. Black background and doesn't doesn't open any, anymore. But this one actually, I restart the phone and then it works, which TubeCast just doesn't work anymore. So. I saw an internet that Microsoft is maybe trying to bring a feature that you can reset the settings of uh, each individual app, which that is a must because if I uninstall Tubecast, reinstall, uninstall, move move to SD card, move into internal memory, it just doesn't work. Let, let's go into store, for example, this is a very weird bug. Maybe it's from the app, I'm not blaming here the system, but it will be very welcomed to have that feature to hard reset for each individual app. Let's go into TubeCast, very interesting bug here. I tried to, like I said, I tried to this map to install an SD card, internal memory, all is the same. And the problem is because these apps, they synchronize to Outlook, they synchronize to the cloud, and that synchronized, that options, they there is some bug there and the app can't work anymore. But I can't restart, reset the application, so I can't really use it. If I press on launch, 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 it just doesn't work which uh, this is the only app that, that i'm getting this problem i don't really recommend this build because it's way too problematic i can't really use this phone as a daily driver now oh man and also i saw in this build sometimes when you like open some app or depends it just like freezes you try to do something it freezes or another thing is uh i was let's try to outlook let's try to unpin it so it f froze uh, for, for a few seconds. I was feeling the vibrate, the back button, it wasn't going back. Let's go out to Outlook. If I try to pin, pin to start, you see there, you see here the freeze? It just froze. And then it pinned the, the tile, but it froze for, there for a few seconds. Let's try another one, 8-zip. It again freezes for a few seconds and then it pins the tile which this wasn't happening before and this is a bummer now it's it froze there for like three four seconds but when i installed the, the <laughs> when i installed the build i was get, waiting for like 10 10 15 seconds still the same problem and another thing is the notifications they are so kind of got messed up because look here says loading why it says loading I'm not supposed to receive now anything, but it, say, it says loading, which it, it shouldn't say loading. And if I, if I should receive now a message, it will still say loading. <laughs> let's see if how much time will, will say loading, because it's, it will say loading for much time. Okay, now it says no notification, but it was saying loading so much time, which previously I never saw this, I never saw this. Which this is a this is a problem with this uh, build. I know this is a ins this, this is beta. This is insider, and I I speak so bad about this build. I'm not speaking bad about Windows 10. I'm speaking about bad about this build because it's not for a daily use. It's just not for a daily use. And I know many of you use the phone uh, and this insider previews as daily drivers, which in my case I also use uh, this Lumia 640 XL as my daily driver. And I'm frustrated because I can't use messaging. I can't. I can't use Outlook. Maybe I'll try more to you to try to synchronize Outlook, but it still not work. I tried to uninstall Outlook, to remove the emails, to place them again. I don't really know what I can do more, because this build got released like two days ago, and I tried to test it until today, so I can give my opinion correctly on it. See the clock again? Just got. Uh, it's just not for a daily use. This build again. Loading, 
not okay now it loaded faster but still it was loading so slow uh, like i said this build is definitely not for daily daily use so yeah let me know in the comments if you saw this skype feature that it was taken out and if messaging is working for you or if it's not working or even if you have problems on outlook i'm definitely having them and i'm kind of frustrated a bit but anyway <laughs> thank you guys for watching and i know that this video was kind of a bit of hard on on this build but the truth has to be saying so yeah thank you guys for watching and see you in the next time